Are you a business owner that's really looking to explode your success in 2024? Hi, I'm Holly Amato, real estate specialist and divorce coach, and I am here to talk to you today about your mindset and something I like to call claiming ownership. It's a huge issue I feel like hasn't been addressed enough uh, we talk a lot about mindset. We all know by now, if we're in business, that having a positive mindset is going to be one of the best assets you can have. And if you don't know that yet, that's the first step is to getting that mindset solidified. Focusing on positive things are going to bring more positive things. Focusing on negative things are going to bring more negativity. And I can prove it because it's even in the Bible. Proverbs 23, 7 says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And a lot of other people have tried to take credit for this whole manifestation and, you know, focusing on what you want and getting it. But the truth is God created it. So it works. That's why I wanted to talk about it with you today, because there's so many ways that we sabotage ourselves. For example, when you're talking about claiming ownership, I will say things like, my daughter or my car, my house, where are my keys, my phone? These are all things that belong to me or are in my kids are in my family, but I do have some sort of quote ownership to them. Here's the problem. Your brain attaches to those things and that's okay when you're talking about things that are yours and really you want to attach to. What about people who say things like, my anxiety is getting the best of me today. You know, my arthritis is really causing me a problem. My allergies, I was, I was guilty of talking about my allergies, my asthma. I don't do that anymore because it's not mine. It doesn't belong to me. It's not something that I want. It's not something that I want to be attached to. It's something that I'm continually going to a doctor for and I'm believing that I can be healed from at some point. So let's not call things that we don't want to be ours as if they are ours. My anxiety, are you kidding me? Stop saying that. It's not yours. Don't claim ownership to anxiety. You may be feeling it, and I'm not telling you to ignore the fact that you're feeling it. You may have symptoms of it, but you don't want to enslave yourself to it. You don't want to create a bond with those things. Okay, I don't wanna talk about my failures. Sure, have I failed at some things in life? Absolutely, but I wanna look at what I did and how I can do it better. This is just such a simple, simple concept. There's really nothing all that deep, but if you start paying attention to it, you're going to hear people consistently talking about owning things that they don't wanna own or they say they don't wanna own. Okay, so that's something I want you to, to stop and think about. Every word that comes out of our mouth has power. Words have power, we know this. Words can, can diffuse a situation and bring peace. Words can inflate a situation and create chaos or more of a negative effect. So why don't we stop and really be conscious about the words that are coming out of our mouth, what we're saying, what we're attaching to, okay? You know, they, it's been said that energy flows where you send it, okay? The energy in your life, it's going to flow where you're sending it. What are you putting out? What you put out is gonna come back to you. What we sow, we reap. It's just like a farmer. If you put seeds in the ground to grow a crop of corn, if you plant corn, you're gonna get corn. You're not gonna expect a bunch of orange trees to pop up, that would be ridiculous. So when you are sowing into your own life, when you are speaking into your own life and about your future and your trajectory, speak life, speak positive, claim what you want. Don't call things into your life that you don't want. Be really, 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 really careful about that. The other thing is visualizing. Uh, I talked about this in another video, but it's really crucial to stop and visualize your day at a very small incremental level. Visualize what your day is going to look like. 
And I also talked about another video, plan your day out. So the night before, the last thing, one of the last things that you wanna do in your activities of the day, plan what the next day looks like. Put those things on your calendar, which are those business activities and income producing activities and those one that, that one thing that you need to do every day in order to move the needle forward, plan your day out. And then before you go to bed and in the morning, visualize what is my day going to look like? What do I want to happen? What are the successes going to be that I experience? And then as you are walking through your day, you're going to feel a sense of more accomplishment because your brain is already attaching to what you are focusing on. Remember the energy that you're sending out. So when you're focused on the things that you're going to accomplish, you know, I'm going to talk to 10 new clients today. I'm going to sign up, you know, sign, sign two new clients on to my, my services or product or whatever it is, or I'm going to launch this next phase of, you know, one of the products that I'm launching. Whatever your business looks like, there's so many different business models, but when you're attaching to the outcomes, you're pushing the energy out that you want. Your brain is magnificent. If you've never done brain research, you really should. It's pretty amazing how the brain works. Your brain wants to work with you and it doesn't understand innuendo or sarcasm, what you say your brain's attaching to. So you, if you keep saying things like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm such an idiot. I should, I, I forgot, I'm such an idiot. Don't say that. Don't tell your brain you're an idiot, okay? Please don't tell your brain you're an idiot. Stop doing that. Really focus on what you're saying and maybe for the next 30 days, keep a journal of every time you slip because you wanna look at all, look at what those negative messages are that you're putting out there because I think you're gonna be astounded at the realization of your worst enemy is you. We are our own worst enemy if we don't stop saying these things and you don't want to be your worst enemy. You wanna be your best friend. You wanna be the one that is pushing the trajectory to where you want it to go and you can do it. And these are simple, simple little things. So visualizing your success, visualizing what does my day look like? What am I going to accomplish? Then you can start visualizing your whole week, your month, your quarter, you know, making those long-term plans. What does my year look like? What do I want to accomplish this year? You know, and then go as far as a five-year plan, but make sure that you see yourself moving forward, accomplishing what you want to accomplish and being successful. And you want to do that every single day. So I want to give you just a really quick, easy exercise. Many of you have already heard this before. Just to prove this, just to prove this to you. Um, I don't know what color your car is, but we're gonna say red cars, okay? I want you, before you leave, to get in the car, to go out on the road today, to really think about red cars. I don't care how you think about it, but I want you to visualize, close your eyes and visualize maybe a red Corvette, a red Camaro, a red minivan, um, a red sedan, a red caddy, you know, just red, red Lincoln, red town car. Just think about red cars, okay? Red cars. And I want you to count how many red cars you see today. Now, if you're not on the road much, it may not work, but when you're on the road a decent amount of time, I want you to really do this. You'll be shocked because they were always there. Here's the thing, are red cars something brand new in existence? They're not, they're not brand new. There are red cars out there all, all day long. But if you're not actively looking for them, it's funny how you won't realize just how many you encounter. And I don't have a red car. So I will typically see my car, like I have a blazer. There are so many blazers on the road. And because I own one, I'm already kind of like connected to it. So I see blazers everywhere I go. In fact, I'm always amazed. I'll park my car and be like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't you know, lose my car in this sea of blazers. And I'm like, there's been so many times I've walked up to the wrong car and tried to get into it because it looks just like mine, okay? My brain just attaches to that because that's the car I drive. So I want you to 
think about a red car, if you, unless you have a red car, then pick a different color. But I just want you, it's a very simple way to prove this theory to you. Because even though it sounds silly, I want you to experience success right away with it. And I want you to start putting it to the test in very small ways so that someday you're gonna be able to overcome maybe some real big issues that you have. Maybe you really do suffer from anxiety. I know a lot of people do. It's a huge issue right now. What if just by detaching from that and not saying my anxiety, but acknowledging your symptoms, taking care of yourself, doing everything you need to alleviate the situation, what if you're able to make it better? What if you're able to find that someday you don't experience that anymore or very rarely and the times that you're experiencing become less and less and less? Something that you should really think about because where you push the energy out, that's where it's gonna go and what you tell your brain to attach to, it will attach to. That's just how God made us, that's how we're wired. So if you're listening to this, I know that you want success. I know that you are business-minded, you want to be business-minded, and you'd like to see a huge level of success in 2024, and that's what you deserve. So I'm looking forward to continuing this series, and if there's any questions that you have, any comments, please feel free to make them, DM me, talk to me about things that maybe you're struggling with in your business, maybe it has to do with your mindset, but I'd love to get some feedback to decide what other concepts we need to talk about because I really want this community to thrive. People who are looking for more in 2024, sorry that it rhymes, I wasn't trying, but let's do it. More in 2024, who are you? What are you looking to accomplish? And how can we support each other? Because I really believe in community. I believe that all ships rise when the waters rise and we're here to support each other. Again, I'm Holly Amato, real estate specialist here in Michigan, also licensed down in Florida, also working as a divorce coach for anyone you know who may be in need of that. My heart goes out to anyone experiencing that. I hope that you have an amazingly blessed day.